You guys, this is Jim and Deb Jennings. Um, and how long have you guys uh, been married? It'll be 40 years in July. Oh, my word. That's awesome. You ever notice that when people tell you how uh, long they've been married, especially that length, it's like you want to applaud. And I think the reason we do that is because we know it's hard, right? That's not like, that's not like some small accomplishment. That's a big deal, 40 years. So congrats on that. Give us, um, give us um, a couple of essentials, Jim. Maybe we'll start with you. Some things that you've picked up over the years that you just feel like, man, this is, this is good stuff and stuff that I know uh, folks both younger and older can really you know, just grab onto. What do you think? Yeah, for me, um, definitely essential starting from the beginning. Like we said, we've been married almost 40 years. Um, I was just 21. My wife was about 20 and a half. Got into our marriage, things were good, had two beautiful boys, things were going okay, and things started falling apart, especially in my life. My wife started seeking God, seeking answers, and um, by God's grace, she gave her life to Christ, and um, I was behind there, and things started actually getting worse. So about a year and a half later, I got saved, I gave my life to Christ on May 2nd, 1993, and um, everything changed from there towards the good, towards improvement. Um, And the essential thing that I found, and still find today, is it was the truth of the Word of God that that I started looking at instead of my own ways. Um, The Word of God gives us wonderful principles right from the beginning when he created Adam and Eve and that one flesh relationship and how important that is. It's very special. There's no other relationship like it. And I started to understand that more and then um, started understanding the New Testament teachings and the word love itself and the different meanings in the Greek and what that means and what that means to our relationship and what it means for me to understand that. Words like agape and phileo and eros and all those things that, that matter. Words matter. So um, it, the essential thing for me was to understand God's ways, what God wants from me as a believer first, but then as a husband next and even as a father. So um, I started delving into that. My wife and I together did that together. We've always had a lot of time together um, studying and understanding the word of God. Um, again, like I said, as a believer but also my job as a husband and a father and as a brother and what God requires of me. So the essential thing that we should all always move towards, if we're not sure, is the truth of the word of God, because you'll never go wrong. So that's, that's still what I do today as far as, you know, essentials as far as, you know, being a believer and, and still being a husband. Yeah, that's so good. How about you, Deb? Uh, well, Actually, going into that from what he was talking about before he was saved, um, I clung to the Word of God fiercely in those days. And um, the first scripture I can think of is in First Peter where it talks about um, being submissive to your husband. Mm. Um, and I couldn't understand that because he wasn't saved. How am I going to be submissive to him? But um, and then I, I realized it was more like a yielding to him. It was more like yielding to uh, what is respectable in him and trying to find those things to respect because without respecting your husband, he can't live up to the expectation of respect. So um, that was big because he was, in a way, won by my conversation, my way of life, and how I was treating him because I was treating him better and because I, I was asking God to help me love him, and in that, I treated him better. So that helped a lot, the respect that he needed. I mean, even if your husband, you don't think he deserves respect, you can find something to respect him about, whether it's even a physical attribute or the way he organizes or whatever, you know. So he'll try to live up to the expectation for the most part. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so interesting, right? I mean, certainly the Holy Spirit's doing that work, right? He's drawing you guys to his word. And... um, you get the added benefit, right? Of course, you're, you're drawing closer to him through that, but <clears throat> the added benefit is, boy, that makes your marriage so much stronger, right? Strengthens that in so many different ways. It makes the way that you parent your kids uh, completely different, right? Um, so that's so good. Can we give these guys a hand for uh, participating? Thank you guys so, so much.